I'm on my own, broken and alone. I feel the rain crashing down. Hello everybody, welcome to a new series on my channel, Fortnite Editing Tutorials. In this series, I'm going to show you how to create a Fortnite edit, something that has been highly requested by people, and it's something that I don't see uh, that much on YouTube actually. So I'm going to get straight into it. First up, what you're going to need to do is go into your settings and make sure you turn your settings up to high. Uh, you need it at least high or else the depth of field effect won't work. Uh, turn off show FPS if you have that on, click apply and uh, that's pretty much it for your settings. Uh, go back and now you'll need a recording program to actually record the game with. Now there are a bunch of programs you can use such as OPS or Fraps. Uh, in this case I'm actually going to be using Nvidia Shadowplay or GeForce Experience. This is what I'm going to be using. Uh, you can also use this if you wish. All, I, all you need to do is actually record at 60 FPS. So I have mine at 60 FPS and record it at HD. So I'm recording at 1080p. That's pretty much all the settings you'll need for your recording program. After that is done, I also recommend using a controller to record your cinematics. If you don't have a controller, it's uh, fine. You can actually use a mouse and keyboard. It'll be a bit more difficult and the cinematics won't look as uh, smooth, but you can still get the same look. Uh, what you'll need to do is drop your sensitivity quite a bit or and uh, or your DPI depending on what mouse you have and You'll need quite a big uh, a large area to move your mouse. So I also recommend having a large mouse mat So after that is done uh, Go over to your career and to your replays uh, In here you'll see a bunch of uh, replays for the games you've played recently So here are a few that I've played recently and here are a couple that I saved for this video so also something to note is when an update comes out your old replays will be corrupted and so you won't be able to use them so if you if you just played a cool game and you want to make an edit out of it do it as soon as possible because once an update comes out that replay will be corrupted all right so for this tutorial i'm going to use this uh, replay just as an example all right now that we're in the um uh, replay mode uh, first you need to actually uh, look for your player. So use this button here to look for um, Your player which is this guy here. This is my character with my uh, standard default skin because I don't own the battle pass um, Once you've done that, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of the HUD here. So this is your timeline So in in this uh, time you can see the events that happens within your game so here is if you spot another player and this uh, sort of iron sight looking icon is when you kill someone and obviously the X is when you die. Uh, so that's pretty much what the timeline does. This button hides the HUD. You also, br also press H uh, to hide it as well and you also uh, have a diff few different options within that. That's going to be used for cinematics and for recording. In here you have your camera options. So you have your exposure, if you wish to play around with that, have it a higher, low, uh, I usually just leave this on auto, unless it's you know for a very specific clip. Your aperture, you're going to play around with that, I'll show you a bit of that later. Your focal length, uh, this is pretty much your zoom, so you can zoom right in, and I zoom right out to have a high FOV I guess, like that, and your focus, so that is for the depth of field, we'll get in that a little bit later. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much leave this default you won't you don't really need to touch any of this and that's pretty much it uh, this is the skip button uh, for skipping through and scrubbing through your timeline uh, these jump back and uh, back and forth uh, a few seconds and this is obviously the play button this is the playback speed uh, we're gonna be playing around with this and I'll show you that a bit later and these are the different camera mode options the gameplay is just your standard gameplay so this is what you see when you play the game Drone free, you can fly around as you wish with WASD. Uh, Q and E is the height, like so. Pan and tilt by holding the left mouse button, you can tilt up and down, left to the right. So if you hold right click, it does the exact same thing, like that. Drone attach is the uh, drone is actually attached to the player, it will follow it around like that. Uh, drone follow, it pretty much follows 
the uh, player like that. And third person is pretty much third person mode for the for your player like that, which is also very useful. I'm gonna go to a kill I get and record a cinematic. Right now that we're at a cinematic, uh, I'm just gonna play it to somewhere that can record something cool. So uh, this will do, I guess. I recommend using drone attach. This is the best camera uh, or, or the best uh, camera to use, the best camera to use for cinematics in my opinion. So I'm just gonna get down into a position to record at. Maybe a low down cinematic like this. And now to drop the speed of your drone, you can use the minus and uh, plus keys on your keyboard. Minus bring it down. I recommend bring it down to 0 0.1. That's a pretty decent speed to record at. Uh, you can go lower if you wish, but this is this it gets a bit difficult unless you have a really big mouse mat. So, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now for recording, uh, the playback speed you want is 0 0.1. That is pretty much what I recommend, which is also the lowest you can go. And that will pretty much make it so it plays on really slowly. Now, hide the HUD by pressing H or the uh, hide HUD button down there. Open up your program for recording and start recording like so. Uh, now I'm recording uh, on Shadowplay. Uh, my game is going to be a bit laggy because I'm recording two things at once. And that's pretty much it. What you have to do is press spacebar to play your replay and move around the camera to create a cinematic. So I'm just going to create one now, like so. All right, I think that looks pretty well done. I had to stop there because I ran out of mouse mat. Uh, but this is just going to be an example. So to bring it back, uh, just uh, bring back your HUD and you can also record more cinematics if you wish. And that's pretty much it. And now we can close out of the game and head over to Virtual Dub. Now, after you finish recording, what you need to do is download Virtual Dub from virtualdub.org and just click here the download button. And if you're like me and use Shadowplay to record your clip, you'll also need virtual.ffmpeg to actually import your MP4 clip. And you can do that by downloading that here. That's just a plugin, so you can actually import an MP4 file. To do that, all you have to do is go to wherever you extracted your uh, virtual dub, open up the RAW file with the, uh, for the plugin, and drag uh, plugins32 and plugin64 into the virtual dub folder. Once that is done, you can then open up virtual dub here and this is what it's going to look like now go over to wherever you recorded your your fortnite cinematic uh in this case i recorded it to my desktop just so i can show you what you have to do is drag that into uh, virtual dub i'm going to bring this down to about 50 percent so you can actually see the uh the uh, full video go uh, scroll through to wherever your cinematic starts so uh mine will i'm going to start mine around here and uh, to cut it, all you have to do is press this here. This will be the start of the uh, of your clip, and uh, the ends will be around about here. And press this, and this is what this is the region that you'll render at. Go over to audio, press no audio. Uh, that way, it gets rid of the audio because you can add that in later in editing. Go over to frame rate, set the frame rate to 600 because you record it at 60 FPS. Uh, high frame rates obviously always better so you can do small with velocity for uh, compression i would select lagarith lossless codec you'll need to install this separately i'll have a download link in the description but you can also use uh, x264 vfw or xvid mpeg4 uh, these are also separate i'll also have download links but i recommend using the lagarith lossless codec because that's probably the best codec and press ok once that is done what you have to do is press save as. I'm going to uh, render out to my desktop just so as a test. And pretty much do that and render it out. And now you have a cinematic that is 600 FPS. As you can see here, at nice resolution. 
so I'm going to import this into Vegas just to show you. It's a very short clip because I didn't record very long. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also add a velocity to it because you record at a high frame rate. So I'm going to drop it down to about 35 maybe and then stretch it out and show you as a preview. So there's a cinematic. Uh, this is where I hitched because I need to move my mouse. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. And there will be more of these tutorials coming later. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.